10 goats, three weeks. Those are the basic details of Ann Arbor's new plan to remove unwanted brush from Gallup Park's two islands using an old fashioned eco friendly method, as you can see in this video. Let's get right out to Paula Tutman and Paula. They are already having a huge impact. Man, they are making short work of this brush. So where my partner Matt is standing four days ago, you would not be able to see me or this tree. But take a look at what these goats have done. Again, this is just in four days. So imagine what they're going to be able to do in the next three weeks or so. At Gallup Park in Ann Arbor, there are two islands. Now they're visible from the road, but the public hasn't been able to truly access and enjoy these spaces for years. This is an area that just has ha has a lot of overgrown uh, brush, a lot of invasives. So when we would come into the island, it looked like we needed to do some work, but it was kind of overwhelming. But since Thursday, the islands have been taken over by kids, grandkids and great grandkids. Goats, goats from the Twin Willow Ranch of Milan, where goats are us. Come on, girls. Come on. It's called goatscaping. Come on, girls. And it started out west and has steadily migrated east to the Midwest. Goats used to clear invasive species and overgrown brush. And for the Ann Arbor Parks and Recs, it was an easy decision to jump onto the goat wagon. We deal with poison ivy and honeysuckle and buckthorn all the time in the park system. It's really hard to keep up with. They can get into places that machinery can't. Goats are a lot more friendly to it. They don't leave a big footprint on the ground. The food that they're eating, gets digested through their stomachs. They have four stomachs, so it gets digested through their stomachs. And what it allows then is when they're uh, dropping their pellets, it's already been eaten to a point where it's just fertilizer. What goats can get done with their ravenous appetites and relatively little money in a short period of time is amazing. They like to eat from the top down is what they like to do. Mm -hmm. So once they're eating, uh, you know, and they've gone through and picked up what they like, then they'll come back through and go to the next stuff that they like. And they just keep working their way through until they've got it all, you know, cleared. Before Thursday, you couldn't see the water for the trees in the brush, but just four days of goatscaping and the paths are clear. The water is actually visible and there is a visual of getting people back onto the islands to enjoy them. Our hope is to open them up a little bit. Um, and we've got some plans to make some seating area on the island over there and just make it more inviting. Yeah, this is really incredible go power. Again, you can see that water line. You could not see that before. By the way, this evening at Gallup Park, there is kind of a goat and house open house. You see what I did there? Uh, so people can actually come out, see the goats and get acclimated to understanding that very, very soon they're going to have access to this island. Karen, I know you're wondering about how much money this saves. It would have costed an estimated, they, they thought about $7,000 or more just to clear these two islands. Three weeks, these goats under $2,000. And that is a huge savings when you're talking about a municipality. You're not kidding. Ha, huh? you get it? <laughs> yep. I just had to do that. Great story. Great live yeah, shot. Those did. goats were very well mannered during your live shot. We appreciate it. Thank you, Paula.